Today we're going to talk about how to do white work. In a broad sense, white work is defined as white embroidery stitches done on white fabric. This is a gorgeous technique to add a subtle texture and design to anything, such as napkins, placemats, or even the collar on a linen blouse. However, there are a few specific stitches you'll need to know to get started. For the best results, choose evenly woven fabrics with sufficient body not to fray. A linen fabric like this one works well, then you'll need a needle. I like to use a short, sharp needle with a large eye. It's important to have a beautiful cotton thread for your embroidery work. I like to use this eight weight, long staple Egyptian pearl cotton thread called Eleganza. It's double gassed for a low lint finish and it will run smoothly through my fabric without tangling and knotting. It also has a lovely sheen, which will look especially nice when making satin stitches. To begin, transfer the design to your fabric. You can use the free B template downloadable from the description box or make your own. Place your transfer paper face down on your fabric and then place the design on top. Using a pen or rotary wheel, press down on the lines of your design to transfer it to the fabric. Then hoop your fabric so you have a nice tight surface to work on. For tracing the outlines of the shape we're working today, we will be using a basic stem stitch. Once the thread is secured on the wrong side, bring the needle through to the right side and pick up a few threads of fabric horizontally, keeping the working thread looped below the needle. The needle should be pointing to the left and the stitching is worked from left to right. Pull the working thread through and insert the needle again on the line you are following and bring it through at the end of the stitch just worked. Continue in this way, always keeping the working thread below the needle. To do an open work design such as the one we worked on the wings, you'll need to carefully cut a few strands away to make a grid of fabric. Your first step will be to outline the shape you'll be working with a straight overcast stitch. Lay a padding thread along the drawn line, then working from left to right, keep the needle in a vertical position. Insert it through two threads of your fabric from the edge, bring it through again one thread further along on your fabric along the horizontal. Repeat this over and over. When you've finished, draw the padding threads to the underside of your work and knot. Once you've outlined the entire shape, you will need to use a pair of sharp embroidery scissors to snip alternate groups of four threads vertically and horizontally and pull the threads to give a network effect. Now cover the remaining vertical bars with a closely placed straight overcast stitch, then work the horizontal bars in the same way. The final stitch we'll be using will be the satin stitch to fill in the larger shapes. Keeping your stitches close together, alternate between taking long then short stitches across horizontally on the design. Continue in this way for the next row, now taking long stitches below the short ones and short stitches below the long ones.
Using these three basic stitches, I was able to create a cute little bee design. There are more great stitches that you can use for white work, so let us know in the comments section below if you'd like to see more or what video you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tune in every Friday for more great hints and tips. We'll see you all next time.